Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you all today. So today, we're gonna take my happy planner here, and I'm gonna create a seasonal fall and Halloween mood board. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. We've been decorating for fall and Halloween, which is really fun, and I just want some of those vibes in my planner too. I'm also gonna be sharing with you today how I'm taking some regular scrapbooking pocket pages that have two holes, and turning this into a vessel to hold all this cool fall and Halloween mood in our planners. I'm really excited to get this started. So let's flip the camera down and let the fall times roll. I love a good craft project and one that goes in my planner, that's a bonus. So I'm really excited about this. Adding some seasonal vibes into my planner is super, super fun. I've been wanting to do this mood board idea for quite some time, but I was trying to think of the right vessel, so to speak, to put them in. Because what I really wanted was one of those classic size page protectors that Happy Planner back in the day used to sell that I missed the boat on and never had. So they do sell these page protectors for like bigs and minis now, but you cannot find the classic size. So I pulled into my scrapbooking supplies and I have these 12 pocket page protectors. They're six by eight. I got these from scrapbook.com. I'll link them down below in case you're interested in checking them out. But this is what they look like. And the thing is that side here just has two holes to fit into a scrapbook, but I need discs. So we're going to fix this issue today. The size is right, the six by eight. It should fit perfectly within the planner. And it's got the 12 pockets, which is definitely what I wanted. So what I did was I picked up these snap-in tabs from Happy Planner. They're on sale right now and they're an old product. So I don't know, but they were only like $3.49, I think. They were really inexpensive and you get 12 pieces. Now they are colors and I think that's probably why I never looked at these before, but they're also a little transparent. So while there is a color, there's kind of, I don't know, there's a transparent part. And if I'm trying to figure out how to make this work, you know, you have to give in a little. So we're gonna use these because this will give me the attacher holes that I need for my planner and we're gonna put them on here. I'm really excited about this because I have some pictures. Let me show you these just real quick. These are two by two squares that we'll be using and these are a bunch of fall pictures that I picked up while looking through Pinterest and making a fall mood board in Pinterest under fall love. That's my Pinterest board. I'll put a link down below for you to see that too. And I collected a whole bunch of pictures and put them in two by two form, put them on a sheet and printed them off. And here's a bunch of spooky ones. Oh my gosh, we're gonna cut these out today. I am obsessed with these. Look at these ghosts. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so we have all the things. So let's clear everything out and get started. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have my paper trimmer here and we're gonna trim this up. So what I did was, is I again, I just went searching on Pinterest for fall mood, fall aesthetic photos and a whole bunch pops up and I've been saving them in my fall love category, like I mentioned. And I went through and just pulled a bunch of them off and put them on a page in two by two form. So uh, we're gonna do this. Now you could, this like reminds me back in the day when I made, um, I always like to say back in the day, you know, vision boards and other mood boards where you would use magazines and cut the pieces out. So you could, you could do that. You could also just uh, pull off the whole photo and then cut it down after the fact. But I cropped them down first um, so that I could print them all on one page. Now I printed them on photo paper because I really wanted the colors to be vibrant. But you could print them on regular paper or even cardstock if you wanted them a little thicker. This is just how I went ahead and did this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these and I'll catch you back here in a moment. Okay, so I have all of these cool Halloween vibes pictures cut. I'm really excited about these. I love all of the colors and the darkness and the images. It's super fun. But before I put this away, I wanna go ahead and trim this protector a little bit. So check this out. 
So I put a piece of paper under here so maybe you could see it better. So here is the hole punch. This is where you would put it into a scrapbook. And there's two hole punches on here. We need to trim those off so it doesn't interfere with the disc hole punches that we're going to put on here. Um, I haven't tried, but I really don't think you could disc punch this segment with a regular Happy Planner punch. I mean, you might be able to with a crop dial, but it doesn't matter because these holes do interfere. So we're going to take them off and make new holes. So I need to trim this off right at the holes and I want to trim it roughly to a half an inch, which I guess is right there. We'll put it in this way. It's trimming off kind of, I'm trimming off actually just below the hole. I need enough of that binding side. Well, we're just going to go for it. Okay, well we did it. It's trimmed now. Okay, so now we have a clean edge here that will help hold our tabs. Okay, let's put this aside and get to the next piece. So I have my page protector here. I also wanna make sure I have it going the right direction because yeah, this is the front. The slit is in the front to where you put the images in and this is where we took off this side binding. So we're gonna add some new one with these snap-in tabs. Now these come in three colors. And this is a pink into a purple. Here is a green and then here is a black. And I thought because I have a lot of dark images and because you know it's, it's fall but then it's Halloween, we're gonna do the black because I think that will work out. So let's put this aside. And we're gonna use these. And we're also gonna use the planner to help figure out how to put these on. So I'm just gonna put two on and there is adhesive on one side of these. So here's the tab and on the back side, you pull this off and it shows adhesive right down this side here. And that's what we're gonna be using to attach. So I'm going to pull the adhesive off like so, and I'm gonna put this right on the planner at the top. And then we're going to pull the adhesive off of the back of this one too. And put this right here at the bottom. I think two tabs will be enough to hold. And making sure they're kind of, kind of straight-ish. And we're going to lay this right on the adhesive. So I'm going to flip it this way. I think that'll be easier. So... It's going to go in a little bit. Let me try something. It goes in a little bit and there's going to be adhesive showing. So I wonder if we went in a couple. Maybe we'll do that. Work in progress. <laughs> Let's try this. I don't want any adhesive because it'll grab everything. Let's just go for it. Oh my gosh, I laid it down terrified. So I do know it'll show through a bit on the back side, but I think it'll work. And look, it goes in and out now. And now we have a pocket page protector. And oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So if you have seen people use these that the Happy Planner sold and have been envious, here's a plan. Do this. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. So I know it'll show through on the back here and I put these on the back because I didn't want this back in to interfere with the pockets. So bear that in mind. But now we can get to the fun part. We did the mesmerizing part. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. And now we get to the fun part. I have two stacks of images here. This, these are 12 fall images and these are 12 Halloween images. And I'm gonna do one side fall, one side Halloween. Because we're in October right now, I kinda wanna do the Halloween up top here. So we have all these images and we could figure out how we want them in here by just laying them out. Look at some of these images and these jack-o'-lanterns and the coffees um, and these witches. I love these witches. That coffee's fun. Here's a cauldron. Maybe we want these witches over here. Kind of like that. So let's just uh, lay these around and figure out how we like these. I 
I think that looks kind of cute. Look at that. Look at that. So we have a jack-o'-lantern here on a street. We have a table set with jack-o'-lanterns. These two go, so I'm obsessed with them. This says October, so I put this front and center. We have our witchery things going on when we have a lot of different coffees happening. And I think this looks like Binks from Hocus Pocus. So we're gonna put him here. Before we put these in, I pulled out uh, two of my fall Happy Planner books. This is a seasonal fall book, and this is the fall book. These are pretty old books, but this book, book here has some coppery stickers in it. And I thought we could maybe add some decor. Here's another sheet of that, but I thought these could be fun. This one had some coppery stickers too. I think that color really just works right here. Sweater weather, trick or treat, Chris Bear. We can kind of cut these off if we need to, but I think this could be fun to add some of these. So let's uh, maybe work on doing that. Oh, look, I found a whole bunch of star sparkles. Let's put some of these on here. Let me grab my tweezers. So these are clear and totally coppery. Let's pull this one and see how these look on here. I'm gonna put this on with the witches. And I think it'll kind of just blend into the photo a bit. And you can't even see it, there you go. So I can see it, but the lighting makes it hard for you. But yeah, that looks really cool. Let's put a few more on. Let's pull this boo and let's put this boo on that would be a good spot. I was thinking here, but I actually like the spot right here. Let's put it right here. Yes, that looks really cute. Okay, let's go ahead and put some of these on and play. Let's put a star over here with the cauldron. Cute. Let's put this little leaf right down in here with this guy, just to give it a little extra punch. Nice. Let's trim out one of these yums here to use. And I'm just gonna trim the harsh ends off. And let's put this right up here with this coffee. Yum. Okay, I like that. That's really cute. It just adds a little sparkle. And I wanna do the same thing with this warm and cozy. I wanna pull this cozy word off. And just trim this harsh end off. And let's put this cozy word right here. Yes. Super cute. I don't need to put something on every one, but I'm liking this. Let's see if we can fit these stars with these ghosts up here. Kind of fitting it in between. No, instead of that, I don't want to mess with that. I really like that picture a lot. Let's put it in here with Binks. Binks could use some stars. And I think that's all we're going to put on this one. So I'm just going to kind of rub these in. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to put these in side so we don't lose our placing. So let's work on that. Oh my gosh, I am totally obsessed with this. And I love these little words on here. Look at that. And then some just have like little sparkles, you, like you can't really see them. There you go, I can see them, but they're hard. They just kind of blend into the photo though. And I really like that. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this over and work on our fall side. So this side is gonna be a little different because we have these to contend with but the picture will be underneath. So maybe we can put pictures over here where, you know, it just bleeds okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so let's pull these out and see where we want all these. Look at all the pumpkins. We'll lose our pie if we put it there. So we'd have to put the pie on that side. Mm. 
That looks kind of cute. Okay. Let's see if we want to add any um, decor to these. So this one has an autumn vibes. It's kind of big, but we're going to see if we can put this one in here. I actually ripped the sticker, but I think it's okay. I'm going to put it right here on the bottom. Kind of like so. That actually worked out okay. It goes right over the top of everything. So you can see them. this fall side, the stickers are a little lighter in color. Not the stickers, I mean the photos. So I think that you might be able to see these stickers better. And if you push them in like this, it pushes into the picture. Okay, uh, that's really cute. Can you see that? Look how cute that is. Love it. Let's do some more. This one says hello fall. This one says love right there. So that's really cute. Let's see if we can fit this cuddle close sticker up here with these pumpkins. I think that might look cute. And I'm putting it close to the edge and the top. So I'm gonna have to pull it over here to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna lose the very top of the sticker, but I think it'll still work nicely. Um, that's super cute. Let's add some of this foliage right here under this book just to give it a little pop. Super cute. Okay, there's a time to cook sticker. It's really big, but I'm wondering if it'll fit with this pie. You know, I think it will. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's fit this around here. It's going over some of the picture, but that's okay. I'm gonna take the um, exclamation point off so it doesn't really cut into the pie. There, now I think I can fit this around better. Love, 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 love. Um, that looks really cute. Here, I'll show you. So it says time to cook, just like that. So I know these foil uh, stickers are kind of hard to see in the camera because of the glare, but I like how they look on here. And again, I don't really want to do every one, but I want a little, a little smattering of them. Okay, let's... Let's find maybe one more. Let's pull off this warm word right here. Perfect. And we're gonna put this one right up with this. It just laid down, so that's where it's gonna live. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm happy with these. I got a, just a little bit on each uh, side, but not, you know, not every sticker. But let's go ahead and put these in with the other ones. And for this, I'm gonna to need to flip it over and then these will go behind these, like so. Okay, I'll work on this. Okay, we're done. Oh my gosh. So I had to play with a few of them a bit to kind of get them to line up. But um, in the end, they all went in. So we have here, let me just fix this. We have here our Halloween pumpkin side, which I'm obsessed with. And then over here, we have our fall side. Now these do cover a little bit of these pictures. So I guess, you know, just be mindful of the types of pictures you put right there. I think is it. And um, you can play around with these to get the both sides of the image to line up a little better. There we go. But I'm obsessed with this. Let's get the planner and put her in. Okay, I have my planner here and we have our keep calm and stay spooky monthly here that we're gonna do something with very soon. I will share that with you. I think I'm gonna go to this page right in front of my Halloween bucket list and we're gonna place this right here. And, um, they go here, that's right. But I can flip these right in and now look, look at this great fall mood board that I have in my planner for Halloween and for fall. I love this, I love this so much. I am very excited about this. So what I used was the snap in tabs from Happy Planner. I'll link them down below if you've never seen these. And you know, they do give, you know, they do cover the back, so they are gonna cover some of the pictures. 
but I'm okay with that because I have wanted one of these page protectors in my planner for a very long time. And this is allowing me to have that. And I have other colors here for other seasons to come for sure. I also used these page protectors from scrapbook.com and they're six by eight. And this is a pack of 10. I'll also link those down below for you too. And what's nice since I've done this, you can get page protectors in a lot of different configurations. So think of the possibilities of that. And then I just went onto Pinterest and pulled some images to create this fun mood board. I love this. Now you could make this without the page protector. You could do two by two squares and put them on a regular sheet, which I was going to do, but there was something about this see-through quality that I loved. Um, but you definitely could put them just on a piece of paper too, and you could do two-sided or put them on a scrapbook paper. That could also be fun. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this mood board. I would love to hear from you. And do you like adding seasonal vibes into your planner? This is my Halloween vibes, and this is my fall vibes. And uh, when Halloween, when October's over, I can flip all these around, and then these will be on the front. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.